everyone, welcome back to Royalty Soaps. My name is Katie Carson. I'm the Duchess of Suds, and today we are doing an updated, glorious remake of a cookies and cream soap. Now, this soap features something very different. I have a custom blended fragrance. You can't buy it anywhere because I've made it myself. It's the best cookies and cream scent I have ever smelled. I've updated the look of the soap. I've added a little bit of a drizzle. I've added a few more bits and bobs here and there, changed layer sizes. I, I've just done some some weird stuff to it. Cookies and Cream is like one of the number one best sellers whenever we offer it and so I knew I had to include it as part of the Sweet Tooth collection. I hope you guys enjoy and without further ado let's make some soap. Okay guys let's make some cookies and cream soap. I'm so excited because these always smell so good and they unmold really, really cleanly. The fragrance soil does accelerate trace and I think that's why they unmold so cleanly, but you're not gonna find me complaining. I'm gonna pour my lye water solution into my oils. The recipe that I'm using can be found in the description box below. And let's go ahead and blend this up. Now this recipe is a little more precise than the ones I normally make. I have to actually measure out the middle layer. I'm gonna do 30 ounces of soap batter and then the remaining bladder, bladder? I beg your pardon? I cannot talk today. I do not know what's going on. The remaining batter I am splitting between two white Pictures. Now this is a layered soap and because the layers do set up relatively quickly I will be working one layer at a time. The first thing that I'm going to do is add in some of my super secret sauce fragrance oil blend and then I am adding some black oxide. This is going to be our first cookie if you will and now I'm going to blend this all up. Now this is one of those weird vanilla scents that actually sort of lightens everything first, but after it sits for a week to two weeks, it will be really, really, really dark black. Okay, first layer done. Let's go ahead and pour it into our two brambleberry molds. My goal for this first layer is simply to get it even in both of my loaf molds. This proves to be harder than I care to admit. Now the next layer is our white cookies and cream layer. So to get it to be like the proper shade of white, it actually needs to look a little gray. So it's not, it's not really white at all. It, it's gray. I've added in some black and I've added in an absolute ton of titanium dioxide. I'm also going to add in some organic coffee grounds. That's going to give it kind of that mottled cookies and cream appearance. And I'm going to add a teeny bit of my fragrance oil blend. I don't want to add too much because I don't want it to discolor the soap very much. Awesome. And now let's blend this up. Ugh, it looks delicious. It's like the perfect gray cookies and cream white. All right, let's go ahead and pour this into our molds. Guys, this looks absolutely edible. It makes me want to do like a cookies and cream cake. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that's a real thing. All right, time to pour in our final layer here. I'm just gonna break the fall though. It's truly not necessary because uh, that third layer, a second layer, I can't count either. What is it with today? I can't talk, I can't count. <gasps> I think I'm losing my mind. Oh, this looks so pretty on top. I'm gonna allow it to set up. We'll come back and put the soap frosting on after this quick commercial break. All right, guys, time to frost the top. Obviously, I'm using the Royalty Soaps soap frosting recipe. This is different from the recipe I use to make the loaves of soap, and it comes with our soap frosting club kit available on our website. <gasps> if you're a member of the soap frosting club, raise your hand. I can't see you but I can feel you. So I'm gonna do a three, two, one pattern. That is typically what I like to do to make my soap frosting. It's most even self. I find that that's just, just the best way to get it done. I've been doing it for years with great results.
last little dollop. Wow, that one has left the building. Where are you going, friend? Where are you going? Time to add our little black soap gumballs. These I decided to do instead of the cookie shape because first of all, the cookie shape is a little more prone to breaking during shipping and I need to make sure that these arrive looking fabulous for everybody. And also because it was just hard to find an embed mold. If you guys remember from previous things, I actually had to mold my own cookies and it's a lot of work for an embed that still ends up being really really thin so I switched over to our kind of classic royalty soaps uh, signature gumballs here and I'm really glad I made that decision last couple of little gumballs here we're almost done okay now for the toppings I originally thought I would do a black drizzle but but I'm starting to think it doesn't actually need that I'm starting to think if a white drizzle might be better? I don't know. Okay, so I have some melt and pour here that's actually clear melt and pour with snowflake sparkle, and I do not think this is going to give me the desired effect. I think I really do need to use white, but I don't have any white on hand, so I was trying to make do with something else. We'll go ahead and put it on here all the same, just in between all the soap here. It still looks really good though. I mean, no lie, it looks good. I don't know, now I seem to like the whole thing without anything else on top. It's just not the way I normally do soap. Normally I have like just globs, globs of glitter and stuff and so I'm just not used to looking at it. I, it also might be better if I just made this melt and pour a little darker. I don't think I added quite enough of my black concentrate so maybe if I did that it would look right. It probably would, I'm probably psyching myself out for a really easy fix. Because I want it to kind of look like chocolate sauce, which I feel like would just pull this whole like cookies and cream sundae look together so completely. Yeah, that's that's what I need to do for sure. I'm, I'm looking at it now with all of this extra on there and pretty sure that's what it needs. Okay, good. Now I have an action plan in place. I'm just gonna spritz the top of this with some rubbing alcohol. Yes, beautimous. And I'll bring you guys in for a close up. And this is what it looks like up close. Do you want to eat it? Does it look edible? I hope so. I'll be back to cut it in 18 to 24 hours and uh, after this quick commercial break. Guys, this soap looks even more luscious the next day and it smells so good. That fragrance really, really blooms in the finished product. I mean, it smells good the day before, but I mean, it smells really good the next day. Just gonna press down on Natasha here. That was a really easy cut. And then I'll pull out one of the soaps on the inside. And this is what it looks like on the inside. So as it continues to sit, it will mellow out a little bit. And I think I'll even take some more of the black out of these two layers, um, maybe put them into these two layers. So this looks even more cream-like, but y'all know if you've ever had like an Oreo pie that you make with like the Jello mix at the store, it has sort of a gray tone to it. So that's what I was trying to achieve, but I think I'll lighten it up even more than this layer honestly is right now. Still, oh, it smells so good. Oh, Y'all are gonna love this one. Now for the question of the day. Which is your favorite, regular Oreos or double stuffed Oreos? I think there's a real winner there. Honestly, I like the mega stuff, which is like one step up from double stuff. It, it's just, it's it's great. I, I Words can't even express. I'm speechless <laughs> because it's so good. Anyway, let me know down in the comments below. It's clearly a very important question. Well guys, I hope you enjoy the updated look of Cookies and Cream. If you want a bar, they'll be available on July 3rd at 3 p.m. Central, royaltysoaps.com, with all the rest of the Sweet Tooth collection. The whole collection features a lot of sweet goodies, bakery items, and the like. Be sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I hope to post a little bit more, especially on TikTok this month. I had to take a break off. Woo! You gotta post a lot on TikTok to keep up with those people. They be posting three TikToks a day and I'm like, how y'all be doing that over there? Be sure you do something fun for yourself today, like trying to make the tallest 
stuffed Oreo possible. Just keep wiping all the cream out of the middle and stack it up. How tall can you get your Oreo? Tag me in a photo so I can see. <laughs> Weirdest summer challenge ever. How big can you make your Oreo? I don't really care what you do. Just be sure you do something fun for yourself today, okay? Just do it for me. Do it for me. And I will see you all in the next video. So until then, bye for now. Yeah.